I've lived in Sebastian County all my life. Uh, I've uh, been married to my wife 41 years. I've uh, got two children, two grandchildren, a son-in-law, and uh, I have uh, supported uh, UA Fort Smith, which it was West Ark when I was there, uh, with a record of 21 years and uh, being born here and raised here. I know the feelings of the people that uh, are here, and, and we feel like that we are being overshadowed by Washington. I will uh, continue to try to uh, uh, keep the mandates down, uh, cut as much uh, uh, taxes. We keep talking about taxes. Uh, I was on a budget this session, the first time we've had this session, and I asked them for the three, three days in a row if we could look at cutting programs instead of uh, adding more onto the budget. But we didn't want to cut programs. We wanted to continue to spend more, collect more in taxes, or look at ways of, uh, of adding taxes. So I'm uh, very conservative. I've uh, run a business for 35 years. I've paid their insurance. Uh, and and uh, if anybody else in this head table can compete with that, I'd, I'd like to see it. But anyway, thank you very much for having me. Thank you. It's been an honor to serve the people of Fort Smith, both on the Fort Smith School Board and also uh, as a state representative. Uh, I've enjoyed working with colleagues uh, in the legislature, but always for Fort Smith. I believe that uh, putting Fort Smith first is what I was elected to do in the past. And if I'm, uh, uh, if the people of Fort Smith are uh, believing me enough to elect me to serve as state senator, uh, I will put them, continue to put them first will continue to look for ways to help the citizens of Fort Smith. Uh, it's a, uh, you can't accomplish anything on your own. It requires listen, listening to your constituents. It requires working with other legislators. Uh, I've proven that uh, I can do that. The idea that was suggested earlier or asked earlier about the uh, doing away with the taxes on nonprofit groups to support the public school, that's an excellent idea. And that's just one that I believe could be successful even in bad economic times because it makes so much economic sense. You just all you're doing is, is passing the money around when you tax a group like that. So that's a real good idea, one that I would be glad to put together a bill for. The uh, court reform was a, a good one. There are 40 good uh, businesses here in Fort Smith that are very proud of that legislation. Uh, it's one that uh, Governor Huxby, once he saw that it was being introduced, he liked it and I asked if he could make that a, I mind if he made that part of his package in, in 2005 and I said, no, I didn't have a problem with that at all, it'd be just fine. Uh, he later, when he ran for president, uh, I saw in the national news that uh, where he had decided to talk about how he had supported that piece of legislation. Uh, federal government uh, liked it uh, and there's now a national law that's very similar to that. So. Uh, you have to work with everybody, and you can do that. Uh, when you have a bad piece of legislation, it gets voted down. Thank you. Uh, thank you all for, for having us. Uh, it's been a, a delight, and I uh, appreciate my family and friends and uh, everybody here to, to come and just support this. Uh, League Woman Voters does a good job in uh, educating, and I just wish there was a thousand people here. Not um, this is an interesting race. We've got three guys who are all friends running for it. I uh, appreciate the fact that, that uh, number one, uh, we're all going to be friends the day after the election too, so we've kept this race clean and I intend to do, continue to do that as well. I think the people deserve a, a clean race without negative attacks and I think that's old politics and, and something that people are tired of. But they, make no mistake, I think Fort Smith has a choice. They have a choice between where we've been in the past and where we want to go in the future. And uh, we need effective leadership today. We need, and I challenge you guys to not vote for somebody because you live in the same neighborhood or go to the same church or have known somebody for 20 years. To me, that does not make a good senator. What makes a good senator is being able to stand up, fight for the issues, and be, art be articulate, be able to communicate what's best for Fort Smith on every single occasion. I've done that in the past, and I intend to do that in the future. 
and uh, I think we've got a great opportunity. Fort Smith has opportunities all over the place. Chappie is a is a hotbed nationally, uh, as you see with Mitsubishi and some of the other um, plants. Look, excuse me, locating here because there's not a lot of activity. There's not a lot of plant openings all over the country like there were, you know, in times past. So we are sitting on something that, that needs to be developed and that needs to be grown. And to do that, you need infrastructure from Little Rock, you need support, and you need ways to push it to where the federal people get the same attention. Uh, having said all that, I would appreciate your support and your vote, and I look forward to serving as your senator.